This is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. If I tell you that somewhere in virtual space, there is a place where engineering numbers live, where significant numeric values like the resistivity of goal or the speed of light are vetted, tagged, indexed, and archived like books in a public library, and when you check one of them out, they come along with a barcode. Well, if I tell you that, it sounds a little bit like the prelude to an episode of the Twilight Zone, doesn't it? The space, ladies and gentlemen, is as close as your browser. It's called Number Space. Number Space is a public site hosted by True Engineering Technology, a new company from Ellen Rasdow, co-founder of MathSoft and inventor of MathCat, now a product that is part of PTC. Alan has this idea that they ought to be an open standard approach for representing engineering knowledge, such as numbers and formulas floating around in people's emails and technical reports. So he created the number space. You might ask, where did all these numbers in number space came from? Well, Alan's vision is that people like you, engineers, researchers, and scientists who work with critical numbers, would create these so called true numbers just like the encyclopedic entries created, edited, verified, and maintained by the public at Wikipedia and save them to number space. Let me show you how this is done. If you type an assertion, for example, that the atomic radius of iron equals 126 picometer, you have just created a true number tagged with metadata transmittable as HTML code and represented in a barcode. Now watch what happens when you copy this number and email it to someone. When you received it as part of an email, for example, the metadata is still embedded there. When you click on it, it takes you to where it's archived in number space. One note of caution here, the site's syntax conversion engine is rather strict so it's recommended that you read up a bit on how to structure your sentences before you type your assertions. Just like Wikipedia, visitors to number space can also comment on these true numbers. If you think a value is wrong, for example, perhaps you can challenge it. It's a feature that might help keep the numbers honest, in a manner of speaking. I think this way of handling numbers could be quite useful for, say, storing part dimensions and material properties in a supply chain system or a change order management system. So, if you are a fan of a certain number, whether it's the golden ratio or the free fall rate, try turning it into a true number just for fun. Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering, temporarily lost in number space.